Hi guys and welcome to this short video about how to initialize a new hard drive. I've got to just put a new hard drive in my machine here that I want to use and when you buy hard drives initially they're usually not formatted and a couple of people ask me how do you how, how, how do you make it work? It's really easy what you need to do is go to your control panel go to admin tools obviously this is a Windows computer and go down to computer management then we want to go down to disk management on the left hand side here and this will show us a list of all the disks that we have installed on our machine here or current computer setup at the moment I've not even got it hooked up I've got it just USB'd here so what I'll do is I'll plug it in and it should pop up as disk number three down here. So it's just popped up and we've got 931.51 gigabytes unallocated space. And before we can actually use it, we need to initialize it. So if we just click on it and then right click and say new simple volume, hit the next button and we want it the maximum amount because we want to use the whole disk so that's correct there it's put in it that by default and we'll hit the next button assign it a drive letter next available is G you can give it any drive letter that you really want there but our next available is G and if you don't want to give it a drive letter you just want to format it just select that one but we'll give it a drive letter. We'll hit next. Now we want to format this volume. NTFS, which is the modern one. FAT was the old version. File allocation tables. We want to do it NTFS, which is uh, larger file sizes. Uh, default unit size. Volume label. I don't even want a label, so I'm going to just delete that. That's just what it, when it pops up in your uh, list of drives, that's what it'll be called there. Perform a quick format, that's fine. If you uncheck that, it'll just take longer, but for a new drive, performing a quick for format, I find it is fine. And we don't want to enable file and folder compression, at least I don't, because I've got no use for it. It's a big drive, and compressing it to save space, not, not really an issue here. So now we hit the next and it tells us the settings that we've just set up here and when you're ready to continue just go ahead and hit the finish button and it'll format it, it says it's formatted and once it's formatted it'll pop up and recognize it as a drive here there we go it's not bad that took uh, I don't know about 30 seconds now it's a perfectly usable drive you can drag and drop files to it use it for whatever you want and it's a great idea to you know I do this with some old drives that I have on older computers to recycle them and, and reuse them just for a bit of storage or a bit of backup now this drive G you'll notice it's G drive there will appear in my computer as one of the drives I just drag this over here there you can see drive G completely empty and we can just click on it and drag and save things to it simple as that so that's how you initialize a brand new hard drive when you buy one it's not difficult just those steps again quickly for you control panel admin tools if you've got a Mac, sorry, I can't help you. <laughs> Computer management. And then just click on the disk management and it will bring, bring up this box is where we were just now. Okay, that was short and sweet. So there you have it, guys. How to initialize a new hard drive on Windows. So again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.